Hey guys, this is Jonathan from RJMR, and uh, this is episode 112 of What's in the Bag, showing off the new additions to our collections. And what do we got today? Well, we've got a couple steelbooks and Criterion Collection. Barnes & Noble Criterion Sale finally happened, and we got a few, not a whole lot. Could have been a lot worse. Um, still have one I may, be, I may go back and get, um, but we'll put that in another one. Um, so let's get into it. This isn't going to be super long today. All right, start off. Breakfast Club. Uh, this one was Michael's that he picked up. This was the only one he picked up while he was there. Um, and there you go. I mean, it's the Breakfast Club. Uh, the rest of these I picked up and uh, chose because I love Criterion Collections. So, first up, Bull Durham. Uh, Kevin Costner, a great, great um, baseball movie. Uh, probably one of the best. I would rank it pretty high up there for a baseball movie. The Graduate. Uh, this was at this this one in Bull Durham are new and just got released recently. Um, love this movie. That's all. Uh, Personal Shopper have not seen this movie, um, but I, it was recommended to me um, because of the performance of Kirsten Stewart. Because I uh, she I found, I thought that she was fantastic in uh, the Clouds of Sils Marie which uh, is another criterion I have, and this is actually from the same director. So that was enough for me. Silence of the Lambs. This one is gorgeous. Uh, and besides the movie, I mean the actual criterion itself. This may be one of my favorite ones that I have for the artwork, for the book that's inside the book. is probably that thick. There's a ton of stuff in it. Uh, just a really well put together one. Twin Peaks, uh, Fire Walk With Me, which is the movie that they made after the Twin Peaks, uh, the original run Twin Peaks had ended. Uh, they released this movie. Um, I'm hoping to get the, twin, the actual Twin Peaks uh, Blu-ray box set uh, eventually, and I can do a little marathon of it and maybe hit up the revival, because I haven't seen it, I haven't seen any of it in a long time. Um, the Lore. This is actually probably the one that I was the most excited to get. I have not popped in and watch it yet, but that's coming soon. Um, this is a Polish, uh, Polish movie set in the 80s about mermaids, and it's a horror rock electronic opera. I don't have anything else to say about it. That should be enough to get you interested. And finally, Night of the Living Dead. Uh, super excited. I was super excited to be able to pick up this one, to pick this criterion up as well. Um, Night of the Living Dead is a movie that has been in public domain for a long time now. And so it was uh, kind of odd for Criterion to do an official release of it because they don't usually do movies that are in public domain because of that fact. But uh, there was enough people that wanted it. The movie was iconic enough uh, to warrant it, and they actually got the blessing of the Romero family, and they were able to get a whole bunch of behind-the-scenes stuff from them, from uh, just everything. They really did a great job with this one. Uh, that's all the criterions that we have for this one. And we've got two steelbooks. Uh, first up is A Quiet Place. This is the Best Buy exclusive. Um, this was a fantastic movie. It's probably, it was, it's probably one of my favorite movies that I've seen so far this year. Uh, I enjoyed it. It was such a unique theater experience. Uh, just loved it. And last one is Serenity. This is the 4K, uh, 4K exclusive. Limited edition Steelbook. Now, I already have this on Steelbook, but this is the 4K one. And, I mean, look at that artwork. That is gorgeous. I love this thing. I love how simple it is. And this will 
this will definitely be going in there uh, with it. We don't replace our steel books. I ha there are a couple of steel books that we have multiple versions of. We just put them all in there. Um, and that's all I got. Like I said, it's a short episode. Um, our last overall total was 28.91, and we are adding. Um, we're adding one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're adding eight because uh, Breakfast Club and Silent Salams are replacements. So adding eight, that bumps it up to $28.99. Our steel books, we got two new ones, that's $327. And just for our first time, We have 27 steel or uh, 27 criterions. Uh, 27, right? Uh, actually, technically, we have 28 um, because of chasing Amy, but it is a, but it was DVD, so it's not. I don't have the case in there with it. I need to get that and to be able to put it in there with it. So thanks for watching guys and uh, see you next time.